Hi guys and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective reading so it's not necessarily intended for any sign specifically but I believe if you've clicked on this reading there is something here that's meant for you. So there may be a message or two that is trying to reach you or there may be something that you might need to be reminded of along you know along the way. It is a general reading. If you're after a personal one feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So in today's reading, we're going to focus on the person that you need to marry, okay? Not the person that you will marry, um, but the person that you need to marry. There is also going to be an extension to this reading, guys, and in the extended, we'll just explore those messages in more depth and more detail, and the extended reading is going to be made available to you via the extension link below. Okay, firstly, this person that you need to marry should be someone that you trust. And I do think it will be someone that you trust. There's this sense of honesty and transparency um, that I feel like is going to be uh, very important. Um, I'm also seeing that, you know, th this is someone that should, they should respect you. They should respect your values. They should respect your opinions, your beliefs. They don't and they won't. The truth is they won't necessarily agree with you. They won't necessarily hold the same opinion or even hold the same religious or cultural beliefs. Um, they might not agree with you on every issue that you might have within the connection, but they should respect. Okay, There should be this mutual and there will be this mutual uh, respect and this balance here. Otherwise, you know, it's, it'll be very hard to keep loving someone that you don't necessarily respect. This is someone that is going to help you grow. It's going to, this person is going to help you grow as a, um, you know, as an individual, um, as a lover, as a best friend. Um, there's this positive transformation that I see that will stem from this connection. Um, and this person, that's not to say that they're not going to challenge you, because they will challenge you. They will challenge you, and they will push you, but they will do that to help you grow and to help you evolve, to help transform you into, you know, into this better version of yourself. Um, it doesn't mean that they're going to belittle you or disrespect you or insult you. That's not what it means. But it does mean that your connection with them is going to help you, is going to put you on this personal transformation. This is someone whom you're going to trust, okay? There's this mutual balance, there's this mutual respect. You will trust them and they're going to trust you. So um, if you're concerned about like a, if you're concerned about issue, a, a certain issue here, this is someone that you're going to be able to confront them. Even if they may disagree with you, even if they may not necessarily, you know, see your um, or understand your perspective. But I do think this is someone whom you're going to, you're going to be open enough to trust this person. Okay. And they're going to be open enough with you to be transparent and honest about their opinions, about their beliefs here. They will love you and you will love them despite flaws, despite insecurities, despite imperfections. So it's not this person is not going to just you know accept you and then try to mold you into who they think you should be. This person, they will marry you because they will be in love with you. Okay, they will be in love with who you are and also you know the version that you can aspire to be. So um they're not going to, again, it's, it's not like they're going to try to attempt to mold you into someone that they think that you should be. But all of your hopes, your dreams and aspirations, um, all of the goals that you have, they're going to want to help you achieve all of those. Um, this is someone whom there's this closeness, okay? Six of Cups, the Two of Cups energy. This is someone who I feel like is going to be your lover, your romantic energy, um, your special person, but your best friend as well. So someone is going to make you feel happy. Someone is going to make you fulfilled. Someone is going to make you feel good about yourself. I mean, this is someone that you're just going to look at and the both of you are just going to smile at each other for no apparent reason. You, you have that. It's this chemistry. It's this vibe. It's this energy. 
you know, for no good reason other than the fact that you're so happy to be with each other. Um, inside jokes, I feel like there's a lot of inside jokes that you and this person will have um, that no one else will get. And the thing is, they're going to get your sense of humor and you're going to get their sense of humor. Like you guys will just laugh about the same thing. Um, it's just this, it's this closeness. That, that's the best way to describe it. Um, you'll love being around this person, okay? Um, and it's just like, it doesn't matter whether you're on a vacation, it doesn't matter whether you're on a road trip, or you're on the, you know, every day with them is going to be the adventure of a lifetime. Even if you're just staying in and just having dinner together, you'll love being with them, you'll love being, you know, next to them, you'll just love doing things with them. This is someone whom, it's like there's, when you're with them, you know, you don't care, there's no need for much else. It's just like, there's this certain happiness and there's this certain joy that comes from just being around them or just being with them or just being, you know, in their arms here. This is someone who's going to make you a priority, okay? And it's important that they do. And you're going to make this person a priority as well. Remember, there are two sides to every coin and every pentacle. Therefore, this should go both ways. So, you know, make time for the relationship. The person that you need to marry is the person that you will want to make time for. Make time for the relationship because the relationship, the marriage, is not going to survive without that proper care, that love and the attention. Um, also, it's so important that, you know, it's so important that even though you're this couple, that you have the time outside of your relationship. You know, you can only spend so much time together before you, I don't know, start getting fed up with each other. So that's why it's so important to give each other the space and have that space for yourself, that space for your dreams, for your ambitions, for your aspirations. So don't expect to spend every waking moment with them just as they shouldn't expect, expect to spend every uh, waking moment with you as well. Um, this, is, this person is going to appreciate you. They will love you. They will support you. Um, and they will express that to you. Okay, This is someone who won't hesitate to tell you how they feel about you, the physical qualities that you have that they find ultimately very attractive. Um, you know, Someone who I feel like is going to offer you a lot of compliments and just truly appreciate you and the role that you play in their story and in this relationship. Uh, I see that this is a connection that you're going to have to compromise on, okay? But, you know, they're going to be willing to compromise, and so will you, okay? Um, it's it's not like you're going to have to make all these sacrifices, and they won't. It's that you're going to meet someone in the middle. You're going to meet this person in the middle, okay? So that it's a two-way street, and that it's fair for the both of you. And I think this person is going to... Yeah, I feel like this is someone who isn't very stubborn. I feel like this is someone who's very grounded and who's very respectful. There's definitely an energy to them that is going to inspire your trust. So in the past, if you've had any trust issues, the person that you need to marry will be the person that you trust so much that you feel like you could, you know, you could tell them anything and you could trust them with your life. Um, if you feel like you have to hide things from your person, then that could be a very big sign that the person you are with is the wrong person for you. Because trust is so important. It's the foundational structure on which, on which everything um, is built on. Now, this person is going to have shortcomings, and so are you. And they're not going to be, you know, they won't hesitate to admit their shortcomings. Okay, They don't have to be perfect, Okay, but they will find imperfection they will find perfection in your imperfections okay so i see them making mistakes and i see you making mistakes but i also see this coming together i also see this ability to compromise to apologize you know to acknowledge uh this is someone who i feel like is really going to captivate your interest and so they should so um you know intrigue you intrigue you in a, in a very big way and that them hold you know captivating and holding your interest is what's going to sustain this relationship there's this vision for the future that the both of you will share and that's very important so they don't have to be on the same life path as you notice the sphinxes they um you know, the, the sort of, you know, black and white and they look out in different directions and there's a stark contrast between the two um, so this person probably will not be on the same life path as you, okay? They won't have the same goals or the same ambitions or the same passions as you as well. 
but the both of you will want to reach that final destination together and the both of you will be supporting each other and so you should be on your life path okay um so for example if some of you might want to travel overseas they might be afraid to get on a plane but they will do so because it's important to you okay it's important to you it's important to the future and to your connection um This is someone who's going to be and should be someone who's going to be in the present moment with you. Okay, so if they're there having dinner with you, that's where their head and that's where their heart is at. They're there having dinner with you. Okay, they're not scrolling through their phone or, you know, they're not elsewhere. They're, it just feels like they're, they don't feel like they have to distract themselves just to escape from you. They want to be there with you. Okay, they want to give you their attention. They want to give you their energy. Um, they want to be there with you, okay? No escapism, no distraction is needed. And that's how you're going to feel as well. Again, you know, two sides to a coin. So it works both ways. When you're there with them, you don't feel like you have to reach for your phone just purely so you can escape into your phone or into, you know, whatever for even a few seconds or a few minutes. No, you'll want to be them. You want to be there with them, you know, look them in the eyes. Just enjoy their presence enjoy each other in the company or even if it's just silence enjoy that um attraction of course this is someone that you know is going to be magnetically attracted to you and i see that you're going to be magnetically attracted to this person as, as well um i feel like there's this energy about this person which will make they will help you. Remember at the start of the reading, I feel like I said that this person is going to be huge. They're going to play a huge role in your personal transformation. They'll help you confront their demons head on. Okay, so that in any wounds that you have to uh, that need healing, they're going to help you confront that so that nothing, you know, festers. So if you're unwilling to confront some obstacles, they're going to help you do that. If you have... Um, certain thoughts certain feelings that are being hidden hidden by a veil of secrecy this person is going to tear down that veil and it's going to help you confront those emotions okay any barriers you put up this person is going to knock them down so someone who's absolutely huge um, in your personal uh, growth and transformation this person is going to remain faithful to you faithful to this relationship faithful to this connection okay um this isn't someone who is like you're on the same page you're on the same page. You're on this journey together. Um, a lot of changes. This is the, this is a connection that is going to see a lot of changes. After all, oh, there's so much growth and uh, evolving here. And there's no resistance to changes. Doors of opportunity are going to open for you and for them. New careers, new chapters, you know, um, new possibilities. And I think this person is more than willing to, you know, um, to go through with these changes. The only card that you did have in reverse is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles, um, that's the only card that's come up in reverse here. Um, you know, it's a card of waiting. It's a card of... It's a card of being patient. And for some of you, I feel like with regards to... Um, you know, with regards to the messages, I feel like it's so important for you to be patient. Okay, for you to, you know, don't just jump into the next relationship you see. Wait for the one that you're going to head fall, you're going to fall head over heels in love with. Wait for the one that is going to, um, you know, be in vibrational alignment in, um, with you. Wait for the one that's going to love you just the way that you deserve to be loved. So it's about waiting it out. Okay, don't just, again, and don't feel... Don't get frustrated just because if you're already in this relationship and it's not progressing at the pace that you want it to progress at, don't feel frustrated that relationship is not growing as quickly or not progressing as quickly as you want it to. Be patient, okay? These things take time. Great things, good things take time. Great things take even longer. So it's all about being patient and waiting for the one, okay? Um, give them time. Give them enough time to enter your life. Give yourself enough time to recognize them, okay? And you will, but it's all a matter of... Um, you know, it's all a matter of just being patient with yourself. In part two of the reading, we're going to explore these messages in a little bit more detail. Perhaps when it is that you're likely to meet this person, if you've already met this person, we'll see what messages the cards hold for you, okay? Um, so follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below.
Thank you guys for your time, your energy, and your attention. Bye for now.